It's personal between me and you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, it looks like you guys can save the date because it's been reported that uh, they're closing in on a deal, all right? It hasn't been f fully confirmed yet, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. This could fall apart, and this could fight could wind up getting scrapped by the time this video comes out. But it's been reported that uh, Shakur Stevenson and Robinson Consensau, you know, Oscar Valdez's father, Robinson Consensau, have uh, struck a deal for a September 23rd fight, Friday night, uh, September 23rd, in Newark, New Jersey, for a fight. And that is a great fight. Um, you know, and it, I, I think if this fight were to happen, first and foremost, Robinson Consensau is better than Oscar Valdez. He proved it when they fought. I've always thought that this was the real fight in the division to prove who was the best. Uh, or one of them at least, you know, because Joe Cordina, Joe Cordina is throwing his name into the hat with a devastating knockout against Kenichi Ogawa, so you can't just over what Joe Cordina has done. I still want to see that fight. I, I would have ideally liked that fight next, but if we can't get that fight next, then this to me would be the best thing. This would literally be the best option because I feel like this is a fight that's owed to Robinson Consensau. You know, since he lost to Shakur, he hasn't just sat on his ass and not fought anybody. He fought Xavier Martinez, who was undefeated, top prospect, top contender beat him easily and outclassed him so he's done something significant since he lost to Shakur and um it's a good fight it's a match between two Olympians or a Brazilian Olympian and a gold medal a Brazilian gold medalist versus a USA silver medalist you know so the amateur pedigree is through the roof in this fight uh the boxing skills is through the roof on both sides for this fight um you know we know Robinson Consensau has felt some type of way about about being hard done in the Oscar Valdez fight people can say that he didn't really put his foot on the gas and gave the fight away. I, I I don't quite see it that way. I thought I thought he did more than enough to win, and um, you know it, it was what it was. He he's not the more marketable fighter. Uh, Valdez is the guy that's generating the money. We knew that Shakur versus Valdez was the bigger money making event. And top rank still had Robinson Cunsens out under contract, so this fight was always in the back pocket. They're using it now. Um, Shakur Stevenson's getting the chance to, to go home. You know make make a towel defense in his native town of New New Jersey. And I gotta say. Normally, when you defend the belt in your hometown, it's, it's against a much easier opponent. This is not an easy opponent. This is a guy in Kutsensau that's long, rangy, can punch, can move. It's tricky, tricky guy. And uh, I, I really feel like when we talk about Shakur Stevenson's career, like the guys that he's beaten so far, like Joet Gonzalez, Oscar Valdez, um, Jamel Herring, I'm going to say it like this. This is the best technical boxer, Shakur. If this fight is, if this fight gets finalized, and, and, and it is what we're getting next, this would be the most technically technically sound fight he's ever fought. It would be the most fundamentally sound fight he's ever fought. This would be the best pure boxer Shakur Stevenson ever fought. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna say it like this, because when you're when you're a pure boxer like Shakur Stevenson, it's always easier to look good against pressure fighters or these come for come forward fighters than it is to look against boxers. It's it's easy to look like you're the best practitioner of the sweet science when you're fighting these guys that come forward that don't have the best defense that are willing to trade that you're bigger than that you're longer than it's easy to look it's easier to look good against those guys even if they are world class it's easier to look good against that style when you have the skills of Shakur Stevenson but can you do the can you look the same when you're fighting a guy who is uh let me see who's taller I want to see who's taller I, I actually don't even know who's taller but I know I know Consensual is pretty big so Shakur Stevenson is listed right now at five foot seven all right now, Robinson Consensau, how, how tall is he? You gotta be like 5'7, five, 5'8. Five, Robinson Consensau is 5'7 his damn self. So he's got a 70 inch reach. I think Shakur may, may have a longer reach. Let me see if Shakur has a, who has a longer reach. Maybe Shakur is like, I think Shakur might be at 60, 67, 68 reach, something like that. What's Shakur's reach? Shakur's reach is 68. So this is really the first time where Shakur is gonna be fighting a guy that's, you know, same height as him, a little bit longer than him. But unlike these other guys, knows how to use that reach, knows how to use those boxing skills. A, a pure boxer, deep average pedigree. Uh, we seen what he did to Valdez. We seen what he did to Xavier Martinez. Robinson Consensual is a top guy, and to be taking a guy, be taking on a guy like this after you just fought Oscar Valdez, it really shows you the character of Shakur Stevenson. So uh, I love this fight. If Robinson Consensual, like I said, it's poetic justice. Valdez got outclassed. Really didn't even win a round. Maybe, maybe a round at the most uh, for him. You know, he didn't really do a whole lot as far as winning rounds. And I've always said when when those two fought, um, I didn't look at it 
Valdez versus Shakur as number one versus number two. I never thought Valdez was the, best, the second best guy in the world. It was a good fight. Valdez was undefeated. You give him credit for the win, but I thought Robinson beat um, Valdez. And now we're gonna see. Now we can, now we're gonna be able to measure how good is Consensal. Can he perform better than Oscar Valdez? And not just that, can he actually go out there and win the fight? Because um, a lot of people, I raise myself and, uh, and, I, and I raise my hand and include myself. A lot of people are anointing Shakur Stevenson as the, as the heir apparent to the pound for pound number one throne. And I thought this longer than most people. I thought this since I met Shakur Stevenson before he even fought in the Olympics. Um, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this is a fight where now I feel like my, my theory and what I believed all these years is really going to be put to the test. Because like I said earlier, it is easier to look good against guys that are pressure fighters who don't have the best defense, who are smaller than you, and look like, a, like this great fighter uh, as a boxer. Can you do it against a guy who has deep Arab pedigree like you, actually did better than you in the Olympics. He actually won a gold medal. You did not, okay? You were expected to win a gold medal. You did not. He did, okay? First guy you really fought that's like a, a, a technical boxer at that level. First guy you fought that's taller than you or, or, or same size as you but longer than you. A pure boxer. Um, been at the championship level. Did better than you in the Olympics. Um, can you perform? Can you perform? That's the real question, you know. And I was saying that in my last, in one of my last videos, videos, I did, you know, Ruiz versus Ruiz versus um Charles Mar uh, Andy Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz should be called something to prove. This fight could also be called something to prove because I feel like Shakur Stevenson has to prove now. Okay, you figured out how to beat this one style, the the pressure Mexican style of Joe Gonzalez of Oscar Valdez. Now can you beat the style of a guy like Robinson Cunsentau, who's a taller, rangier, slick? You know, raw boxer, kind of like yourself. So, uh, great fight if it comes down. I will, I will go as far as to say it. it's in Newark, New Jersey. Not really a, a fight town, uh, traditionally speaking. But I will find my way out to this fight if this fight is finalized. And I'll say this. The winner of this fight, I would like to fight Joe Cordina next. I, th I think the Welsh Wizard has done enough to uh, earn an opportunity to unify the belts against the winner of this fight. Um, especially when you consider how he won the title. So uh, maybe Joe Cordina could fight Roger Gutierrez in the meantime and, and unify the belts and the winner, winner of that fight could fight the winner of this fight and maybe maybe we can get undisputed at 130 next and that'd be great. So I'm going to leave it at that. Robinson Consensal, Shakur Stevenson. Looks like it's going to happen September 23rd in Newark, New Jersey. So let me, let me know your guys' opinion of this fight. Who are you favoring? What do you think about Robinson Consensal? Uh, how does he stack up to the other Shakur Stevenson opponents? Uh, let, me know, let, me, let me know all that in the comments down below. Make sure you guys... Take the time to subscribe because we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And I'm sure with your guys' help, I'm, I'm getting great support on the channel. I want to get there pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching True School Sports. No, follow this kid. Oh. You know, he's a true, uh, you know, it's a young, true, uh, passionate a uh, uh, person who follows boxing, he, 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 he wakes up thinking about boxing and he goes to sleep thinking about boxing. This is, so, this is true. This is good true. kid, good man, and looking forward to seeing him uh, everywhere yeah. in the boxing world. Hey man, if you ain't subscribed to True School Sports, you're fucking up, man. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Fucking up big time. Make sure, man. <laughs>